in this session i'll be going to calculate one more example based on meshan's gain formula for a solution of signal flow graph for a calculation of transfer function where input is rs and output is cs so by using meshan's gain formula we will be solving this example so let us begin solution of this example where first step is to have a calculation of forward path now in this given signal flow graph we can clearly see only one forward path is there that is from this path and if we see this forward path that path is f1 is equals to 1 into a into b into 1 so that is a b c and there are no more forward path which is there with this simple transfer function now let us solve second step of this so that is single loops so now in this if we see how many single loops are there then for that we can clearly see three loops which we can easily observe one is this single loop so that is a into 1 this is second single loop that is b into 1 and this is third single loop that is c into 1 so here i'll be noting those things first is l1 so that is a into 1 that is a second is l2 that is b into 1 that is b and third loop that is c into 1 that is c now for two non touching loops if we see this video in that case we can say like see from this diagram this loop and this loop is not touching to each other so only these two loops are not touching to each other so we can say this two loop are not two non touching loop so let us give notation l1 dash so that is l1 into l3 which are not touching to each other so you can say that is what a into c so these are two not non touching loop to each other now we will be solving delta so for a delta solution we can say delta is equals to 1 minus summation of single loop plus summation of two non touching loop so over here one minus this is a let us say l1 plus l2 plus l3 and plus summation of two non touching loop that is l1 dash only so this will be 1 minus a plus b plus c which is as per this values which we have recently calculated plus l1 dash that is a into c now calculate delta 1 the reason is only one forward path is there so that will be 1 minus summation of loops not touching forward path f1 so if we see this forward path then all loops are touching to this forward path so we can say there is no such loop which is not touching to forward path f1 so all loops are touching to forward path f1 so over here we can say this is there is nothing so delta 1 is equals to 0 now we can calculate transfer function so that is cs by rs and that we can calculate by summation of forward path into delta fi delta i divided by delta here only one forward path is there so f1 delta 1 divided by delta so that is the basic formula of this now here 
value of f1 that we have calculated a b c and delta 1 value is 1 divided by delta so that is 1 minus a plus b plus c plus a c so that is 1 minus a minus b minus c plus a c so this is the transfer function which is there with this given signal flow graph now in next session i will be explaining how to translate block diagram into signal flow graph and then we will solve that block diagram by using signal flow graph machines gain formula thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel and if you have any query regarding this then place that below in comment so that we can communicate on that issue and we can solve out those problems thank you so much for watching this video